Um, so hi, I'm, I'm Florian, I'm one of the industrial designers at Lightwell. Uh, we're a company uh, which are making uh, public lighting, so really the, uh, the, the lamps you see in the street. Uh, and within the company, I'm more focused on all the smart city or circular sustainable um, projects. And I want to talk a little bit more about the, the, the lifetime. Uh, and I just put in this slide, so I cheated a little bit with my three slides. Um, because in the first part of the session, uh, somebody asked like how many, how much do you already know about circular economy? Um, and if you go to the Alan McCartan Foundation website, this is the image you'll get. It's the famous butterfly image. And I think most of the presentation so far has been on uh, what we call the outer loop, so the recycling loop, and it's really recycling your material. But the goal of the circular economy is to keep value uh, in the chain as long as possible to so keep your material materials in the chain as long as possible so we as lightwell are more focusing now on the we call the inner loop so maintenance reuse remanufacturing and especially in the public space mm -hmm. so also in the, the building environment lifetime is an issue um, i'm going to show two different projects on how that fails and um, what we figured out this is a project we should we want to show at the Dutch Design Week. Um, Royal came, from, came to us. They removed all the, well, they call it the smoke pillar. It's actually an ashtray, which is placed on all the Dutch uh, railway stations. <coughs> and last month they removed them all from the, um, well, from the from the stations because it didn't serve a social purpose anymore. So as a, well, as the Netherlands, we want to be uh, smoking free in 2040. So the whole purpose of the product was gone. Um, when the product arrived at our office, we were like, well, it's actually quite well designed. It's a, well, well, it's a bit like a design icon, um, but it didn't serve a product anymore. So the product was built to last. It would probably, if the, the station would be demolished, this thing would still be standing. So we looked at how can we make it into a, um, a charger for e-bikes. But that shows that you have to think about how long will my product last also on the social side, but also on the technical side. Um, this, what's this example? This is an example from, from, our, from our own company, from Lightwell. Um, <clears throat> about two, year, two, three years ago, uh, the new Motion, which is a, a mobility service provider, uh, came to us and asked us, well, could we do a uh, collaboration and um, integrate a lamppost with a EV charger. He said, sure we can. Um, and then I think we, we made this, we certified it. Uh, we placed about 10 or 20 across Europe and then the first pilot project stopped. Um, and we kind of figured out we made a mistake because we integrated two or three different functions, which is a pole, a light and an EV charger. Uh, and they all have different lifetimes. So if you maintain a, a street pole, a public lighting pole well, it will last for 60 years. A light will last you 25 years and an EV charger 10 years. So what happens when uh, there is no need for EV charging or if the technology becomes obsolete? You have to replace the whole product. Um, so then last year, the city of Rotterdam came to us. They, they saw the, they, they knew about the light motion, so the previous project. And they asked like, can you modify the product so it will fit the needs of the city of Rotterdam? We're like, sure, that's, that's what we do. We like to collaborate with our clients. Um, but then we took with us the, the lessons learned um, from the whole lifetime management issues. Because if you're building a smart city, so this is a smart city product, it's a modular um, smart city hub, which you can change the functions uh, but also changes over time. So you don't know what the future needs will be in 20 years or 60 years. Um, so we designed the whole product around modularity over time. Um, this is now being tested. We placed three of them in Rijerwoord, which is a neighborhood in Rotterdam. And actually last month, um, another company came to that spot where these products are installed. Um, and they attached a solar floor, so a... Um, Solar panels integrated into the uh, the pavement, and they attach it to the loading stations that were in our product. So now the, the cars uh, can charge on solar energy. But for us, it was really proof of concept that um, 
this thing really works and also the Mish Badge Club them is quite happy with it. So they are gonna install a few more this year. So actually the old takeaway is that um, I think the, the materials and the whole recycling issue, especially for plastic is really, really hard to tackle. And there should be a lot of focus and research into that, that aspect in that area. But don't forget um, like the easy and the low hanging fruit, which is in the, the inner circles of the Anna MacArthur Foundation model. No, 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 no.